Hello everyone. We're heading off to our spare parts store today. It's on the other side of town, so Helen the helicopter is going to fly us there. Go, go Helen! The store is where we keep all of the spare parts for the vehicles we look after. It's in an awful mess, so we're meeting Florence the forklift truck there. She's going to help us get things tidy. Hello Florence, I'm so glad you offered to help. Some of the spare parts are far too heavy for me and the mechanicals to lift by ourselves. Should we go and take a look inside? Oh dear, just look at this mess. I try to keep things tidy, but we've been so busy lately. Let's try sorting everything by size, shall we? Small, medium and large. much tidier but there aren't many big or small parts but there's loads of medium sized ones there isn't enough room for them all we'll have to try something else how about sorting the parts by shape circles squares and triangles Hmm, we have lots of wheels and other circle shapes and we have lots of parts in square boxes but no triangles. Let's try again. How about sorting the shapes by colour? That might work. Red, yellow and blue. Uh-oh, we have a place for all the red, yellow and blue parts, but what about all of the other colours? No, this won't do. One last try, let's try sorting by vehicle. So, bike, car and van parts on the left, truck and bus parts in the middle and construction vehicle parts on the right. Perfect! A place for everything and everything in its place. Very tidy. Oh no, Florence what's the matter? Is something wrong? Your lifting forks look damaged. The mechanicals will get you some replacement forks. At least we know where to find them now that the store is tidy. You're a construction vehicle so your parts will be over on the right. I'll go outside and call Helen to take us back to the garage. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's take a good look at you to see if there's anything else wrong. Mm, no, it looks like just your forks are broken. We'll soon get you fixed up. Go, go mechanicals! Florence worked so hard today. She is a brilliant friend. I'm sorry that it took so long, but we got tidy in the end. All that lifting broke her fork. We'll fix her good as new. As a thank you for all her hard work, it's the least that we could do. There, you're fit and healthy again, ready for your next job.
I'm glad Florence could help us tidy up. She's a hard worker and a brilliant lifter. Bye! Hello everyone! Trevor the tractor's going to be visiting the garage today. He works down at Number Farm, helping Farmer George with lots of important jobs. Oh Trevor, you do look a mess. I'm glad you came to see us, so that we can fix all of your problems. Go, go Mechanicals! You really work hard on the farm, don't you Trevor? But you do need to look after yourself properly. Your plough is all bent out of shape. How did it get like that? In the spring, Trevor ploughs the farmer's fields to get the soil ready for planting. He pulls a big plough behind him. It looks like hard work. Oh dear, those large rocks have really bashed up the plough. Then Trevor helps to sow the seeds. He pulls another machine that throws the seeds out onto the ploughed soil. Now that the mechanicals have repaired the plough, they need to take a look at your poor trailer. How did that get so broken? In the summer, Trevor spreads fertiliser on the crops to help them grow big and strong. Trevor also helps to harvest the farmer's delicious red apples from the orchard. That trailer looks very heavy and full. I think there's too many apples in there. Ah, so that's how the trailer got broken. There, your trailer's as good as new. Now, what about this giant scratch on your paintwork? What happened there? In the autumn, when the crops are ready to be harvested, Trevor uses his harvesting attachment to chop and gather all of the lovely golden wheat, ready to be made into breakfast cereal and flour. Oh no, this tree has fallen over in an autumn storm. Trevor the tractor is so strong that he can drag the tree out of the road so that everyone can get to where they need to go. Look out for that branch. Oh no, it's scratched his lovely red paintwork. A quick respray and your paintwork's as good as new. Now, why does your engine sound so grumpy? In the winter, Trevor has to drive through the snow to take bales of hay to feed the horses. Trevor also goes out onto the country lanes to help cars in the snow. Poor Sophie is stuck in a snowdrift. Trevor clears the heavy snow from the road with his snowplow. And then pulls Sophie up the hill. No wonder his engine sounds poorly after all that heavy work. There, the mechanicals have fixed up your engine, re-sprayed your paintwork, repaired your broken trailer and pulled your plough back into shape. After all those seasons, you just needed a bit of maintenance. But now you're as good as new and ready for spring, summer, autumn and winter on the farm all over again. See you again soon, Trevor. I'm glad we could help Trevor with all his problems. He should come and see us more often. Thanks for visiting us today. Bye. Hello, everyone. Are you ready to join me and the mechanicals for Gecko's Garage ABC? Let's get started. A is for Amber the Ambulance. She'll help if you fall down. B is for Bobby the Brilliant Bus. He'll drive everyone into town. K 
is for our cool car wash to make our vehicles shiny. Duh is for Danny the digger. He digs holes, huge or tiny. Eh is for everyone's engines that keep their wheels turning. Fa is for Fiona the fire truck who sprays things when they're burning. Ga is for our garage, where this video starts and ends. Also, Ga is for me, that's Gecko, always here to help my friends. Ha is for noisy honking horns, to let you know we're here. I is for icy roads and parts, that Trevor the tractor helps to clear. J is for our hydraulic jack, lifting vehicles off the ground. K is for all our vehicles keys that sometimes can't be found. L is for Larry the lorry, lugging parcels from place to place. M is for Max the monster truck, who likes to jump and race. And also for Millie the motorbike, who really enjoys the chase. N is for new number plates, so that we know who's who. O is the garage oil can, keeps them running good as new. P is for a nice new coat of paint, when scratches are a pain. Q is for queuing at the car wash to clean that mud off again. R is for Rebecca the recycling truck, collecting old things to make into new. S is for Sophie the sports car, sometimes pink, sometimes yellow or blue. T is for Tony the taxi, he really knows his way around. Trevor the tractor works down at the farm, digging and seeding the ground. A is for under this mystery sheet. What have those mechanicals found? Yes, V is for Vicky, the van, who you might meet next time around. W is for wheels that we change when the old ones wear through. is for x-ray machine that we use to get a clear internal view. Y is for yard, used to test all our vehicles to see if we fix them up right. And Z is for zoom, when they're back to full speed. Mia the mini digger is helping her big brother Danny dig holes on the building site today. You've been working very hard. I think it's time for a rest. Aren't you going for a break too, Mia? What's wrong? You look sad. Oh, I see. You want to dig a hole as big as Danny's. Don't be so glum, Mia. You're good at lots of other things. Um, Mia, I'm not sure that's a good idea. You're a little digger, and that's a very big hole. Danny's a bigger digger, so it's easier for him to dig big holes. A mini digger just can't dig a hole that deep, a hole that big. But Mia digs three days and nights, until she disappears from sight. Her scoop gets caught upon some rubble. Uh-oh, I think that Mia's in trouble. There's no one around to hear her shout. Oh, how can we get Mia out? This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, go, Helen! We're coming, Mia! Oh, 
Hold on tight, Mia. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's take a good look at you and see what's wrong. Hmm. It looks like your scoop's broken. And one of your tracks. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. They'll get you fixed in no time. Go, go, mechanicals! You tried to copy Danny, but you came unstuck. And you ended up trapped in the muck. Your older brother's much, much bigger. Remember, you're a mini digger. We'll swap your scoop and fix your track. And soon you'll be on your way back. There you are, as good as new. Now, Danny has a job for you. Danny needs to dig a small hole in the floor of this new building. He may be really good at digging big holes, but he's too large to fit through the doors and his scoop is far too big. I wonder who he could get to do the job. That's right, it's the perfect job for you, Mia. I told you that you were good at other things. Danny the digger's big and can dig big holes. Mia's small and is the right size to dig smaller holes in hard to reach places. Good job, Mia. I knew you could do it. There's a perfect job for each of you here at the construction site. Hello everyone. One of my oldest friends is visiting us today. Oscar the bus works with his friend Bobby carrying passengers around town. Here they come. Wow, Bobby's fast. Oh dear. It looks as if Oscar's having trouble keeping up with Bobby. Oscar is slow. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Oscar hasn't arrived yet, so let's take a look at Bobby first. Bobby is big and shiny and new. He can carry lots of passengers and they stay warm and dry inside. There's certainly nothing wrong with you, Bobby. Off you go and pick up your passengers. We'll stay here and wait for Oscar. Hello, Oscar. You made it at last. Let's take a good look at you. Bobby was big and shiny and new. But Oscar is small and rusty and old. His top deck has no roof, so his passengers get cold and wet in the winter. I know you feel tired and sad, Oscar, but I don't think you're ready to retire yet. Perhaps you just need a new job. Why not let Bobby take all the passengers to work and school? And you could become a summer tour bus, showing visitors all the sights and sounds of the town. Let's get the mechanicals to fix you up, give you a fresh coat of paint, and get you ready for your new job. Go, go, mechanicals! I know you're feeling old and tired, but there's no need to fuss. Visitors to an old, old town would love an old, old bus. You won't need Bobby's sat-nav to find your way around. You've lived right here for 80 years. You know every sight and sound. There'll be time to enjoy the sights because you're slow and steady. And what a view from your top deck. Cameras at the ready. And when each summer's over and the tourists go away, Spend the winter at Gecko's Garage. What a cosy place to stay. There we go, Oscar. 
the mechanicals have fixed you up a treat. You look very smart, and I think you're ready to start your new job. And you have your first customers already, the mechanicals. They deserve a fun trip around the town after all their hard work. I hope Oscar and the Mechanicals enjoy their tour of the town. Being a tour bus sounds like a lot of fun, and Oscar is perfect for the job. See you next time for more Gecko's Garage. Bye! Rick the Road Roller is at the construction site today. He helps Danny the Digger and his other friends by making surfaces flat and safe to drive on. Without him, vehicles would have a very bumpy ride. Rick can flatten soil, sand, concrete, tarmac or even gravel. Ah, it looks like Celia's filling that deep hole with concrete. When concrete dries, it's rock hard and good to build on. Oh no, look out Rick, don't roll into that concrete. It's only just been poured and it's far too deep. Uh oh, too late. Oh dear, Rick is stuck and Caroline the Crane's at another job and she's not here to pull him out. This looks like a job for Helen the Helicopter. Go, go, Helen! Let's get you back to the garage and fix you up. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Did you enjoy your flight, Rick? Let's take a good look at you. Oh dear, you're well and truly stuck in that concrete. Don't worry, the mechanicals will get you out in no time. Go, go, Mechanicals! It must have been an awful shock. To get stuck in concrete, that hardens like rock. Please don't worry, without a doubt, the Mechanicals jackhammers will break you out. There, as good as new. Let's go outside and test your roller to make sure everything's in full working order. Careful Mechanicals, stand well back. We don't want you getting squashed. OK Rick, squash those shapes. The first shape to squash is over here. A big round ball we call a sphere. Rick rolls it flat and then we find a circle has been left behind. A big tall pointy pyramid second shape that Rick has hid. Rick rolls it flat and now we've found a triangle left on the ground. This one has six faces all the same. A cube is its name. Rick rolls it flat and now down there we have a perfect flattened square. The final one to be destroyed, a shoebox shape. It's a cuboid. Rick pushes down, the shape is mangled, and now we have a flat rectangle. Very impressive, Rick. Looks like you're back to your old self again. You better get back to the construction site. Danny the Digger will be worried about you. I'm glad we could get Rick out of that concrete and back to normal. He'll have to watch where he's going in future so that he doesn't get into any more trouble. See you all again soon. Bye.
Hi. Oh no! Our sign's blown down in the storm. The mechanicals can fix it, but how can we get it back onto the roof? Hmm, I know. Caroline the Crane. She's just the vehicle for the job. Hello, Caroline. Good to see you. Now that the wind has stopped, could you please help us get our sign back onto the roof? Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. There must be something wrong with your winch motor. Let's get the mechanicals to take a look at you. Come on inside the garage. Vehicle turntable, spin, spin, spin. Let's make sad Caroline grin, grin, grin. Go, go mechanicals. Hmm. Everything seems okay here. I think you just need some oil. We need someone who can reach. Go, go, super mechanical. There. That oil should have freed everything up. Let's test your winch. One meter, two meters, three meters, four meters, five meters. Everything seems to be working fine now. How high can you lift them, Caroline? Uh-oh, I didn't mean that high. You've crashed right through the roof. Before we get this sign back up, I think the mechanicals had better get that hole fixed. We don't want any rain getting into the garage. Now that the mechanicals have fixed the hole, reattaching the sign is our new goal. Caroline lifts it high off the ground, so people can see it for miles around. Thanks for your help with the sign, Caroline. Uh-oh, now the hole's fixed and Caroline's gone home, the mechanicals are stuck up on the roof. Let's hope they get down before the next episode. Bye! Phew! It's hot today. The mechanicals have been working very hard, fixing up broken vehicles. I think they deserve a treat to help them cool down. Just in time, here comes Vicky the ice cream van. Hello Vicky. Five vanilla ice creams please. With sprinkles and a flake. Oh dear, that's not right. This ice cream is all warm and melted. And look, Vicky, there's a puddle of water underneath you. Come on inside the garage. I have a feeling that your freezer might be broken. Let's get the mechanicals to take a look at you. 
Go, go, Mechanicals! It seems as if your freezer's gone a little funny. The compressor's stopped working, and that's made your ice cream runny. We'll fit a new one to make the freezer cool. There, you're all fixed up now. We used the right tool. We need to make more ice cream to replace the melted batch. Let's add all the ingredients to Vicky's mixing hatch. We need some milk and sugar, and don't forget the cream. Add eggs, some vanilla, whisk them up in your machine. Then let the freezer do its work to cool the mixture down. Vicky the ice cream van, the coolest truck in town. Right, let's try that again. Five vanilla ice creams please, with sprinkles and a flake. One, two, three, four, five. Delicious. What a great treat to help us cool down on a hot summer's day. Beautiful, freshly made ice cream. I'm glad we could fix your freezer today, Vicky. Thanks again for the ice creams. If you love this video, tap here so you're the first to know about my latest videos. Thanks for watching! Bye!